in terms of uh, congenital malformations and respiratory distress congenital diaphragmatic hernia can be scary if you have not diagnosed it antenatally because the baby may not respond to the initial resuscitation measures and ippv with bag and mask is not good because it causes the intestines to swell up with gas and it's going to compromise your subsequent resuscitation so it should be considered in any baby born where you have a cardiac uh, pulsation shifted to the right uh, for a left diaphragmatic hernia which is a commoner type and you may have a scaphoid abdomen because the abdominal contents are pushed into the chest so you can electively intubate such babies sometimes we don't pick it up in the labor room and baby presents with respiratory distress and the x-ray shows diaphragmatic hernia and then we intubate and manage cystic adenomatoid malformation is a similar differential diagnosis and uh, you see cysts in the lungs it's uh, usually less severe than diaphragmatic hernia and sometimes you have ccam found on the antenatal imaging but when I mean, the baby is born it has resolved so ct scan showing the similar cystic changes in the lung with ccam esophageal atresia and tracheoesophageal fistula so you have the feeding tube going in and not coming down into the stomach so it's curling back up so this is the esophageal atresia and you can see gas in the intestines which means Though there is esophageal atresia, the gas is reaching the intestines through a fistula connecting the distal uh, pouch with the trachea. So this is the typical picture where you have the airway, the trachea, and we have the blind upper pouch, which is atresia, and we have the fistula connecting the lower pouch of the esophagus with the uh, airway. Uh, it can have a pure esophageal atresia with the blind pouch on both sides and the H-type fistula is rare but it's a difficult condition to diagnose, may present with persistent chronic cough or choking episodes and you need uh, bronchoscopy to diagnose it. So this is another view of the feeding tube stopping short and it needs a surgical repair. 